Hi everyone, the spider man here. Well, I thought I'd do a nighttime feeding. I hadn't done one for a while. Uh, as you can see, this is my strong Matapalma calciatum, my feather leg baboon. Um, as you can see that she's webbed up absolutely everywhere. She don't really use her cork bark as much as she used to. She seemed to have come out of her cork bark and webbed up all at the bottom. So I think she's somewhere at the back. But to get a proper look, I'll uh, take the um, enclosure off the shelf. So everyone, I've took the uh, enclosure off the shelf. And there she is there. Uh, about a four inch female. She's getting uh, fairly big. Not uh, fully grown just yet. Uh, they get to about a six inch leg span. She's probably around about four, four and a half around that area. So yeah, so let's uh, get a large roach and let's see if she's hungry. So everyone, as you can see, I've put the roach in. It's the largest roach I could find, probably around about an inch and a half. So it's a fairly big roach. So hopefully she'll uh, feel the vibrations and hopefully we'll uh, get an attack very soon. Uh, Sorry everyone, I missed the attack. I was just moving the uh, roach towards the uh, tarantula and uh, yeah, I missed the attack guys. Sorry about that. Bit difficult to want to do it on your own. <clears throat> but you should uh, definitely enjoy that. So you can't, it's a bit hard to try and get a decent picture because all the webbing's in the way, you see. So yeah, she's got some, some beautiful colours. Her venom is very potent as well. It's very, very strong. Let's try and get a better picture for you guys. I think that's the best I'm going to get everyone. She hasn't been fed for a she hasn't been fed for a while. It's gonna be a couple of weeks. Just trying to get the best picture I can. Oh there we go. See so I would use the light on the on my iPhone but it gives too much of a of a glare. So you can see the size of her, she's a decent size. Tarantula. She's just doing the happy dance. I don't know why she's got so much webbing. <laughs> she don't need no more. So yeah, shouldn't take her too long to uh, eat her meal. I've noticed everyone that her. Uh, her abdomen there you can see is looking a little bit on the dark side. Um she's not related to a uh, dark vader, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see that uh, dark ball patch just on the bottom of her ab abdomen, just by where the spinnerets are. So she could be due a malt very soon. So um I know um feather leg baboons do web up a lot anyway, but um she could be Going into pre milk very soon, so hopefully this will be the last meal she has before she uh, malts. So yeah. So everyone, I think it's uh, time that I left her to enjoy a meal. Let's get a bit more of a close up of her beautiful colours. I've had her a few years now, probably around about the three or four years, somewhere in that area, I think. So, yeah, I'll let her uh, enjoy a meal. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.